The National Assembly holds the key to unlocking the nationalization of Kenya Airways. Parliament was initially expected to have concluded the discussion on the bill by end of last year. Faisal Ahmed has more on this story. Parliamentarians actually are the ones who said what we want to see is we want to see that Kenya Airways moves from private hands to public hands so that there's now justification that we have agreed that Kenya Airways is a strategic asset and a big player in the you know, ecosystem, in the economic ecosystem. And so let's have it in, in public hands so we can now support it to grow. The plan touted to be the saving grace for the aviation sector has been delayed until February. Parliament's Transport Committee was slated to pass the National Aviation Management Bill, reverting control of the national carrier to government, as well as plans to have units including Kenya Airports Authority under one holding entity. We have what we call the Aviation Bill, which uh, could not be debated last year. We believe it's being slated for February next month. That's when we shall know the direction about the future. The government plans to buy out Kenya Airways shareholder Air France KLM, which owns 7.76% stake, and a group of lenders who swapped debt for equity as part of an earlier restructuring. Already, KQ's shares were frozen from trading at the Nairobi Securities Exchange to safeguard it from speculative trading. But even as this is waited upon, sources indicate that the government is already shopping for a transactional advisor to guide it from the delisting of the brows. This expected to take shape by the end of quarter one this year. Nationalization of the airline is expected to place it in the ambit of the state and further cut its losses. In an industrial update late last year, Chairman Michael Joseph admitted that the airline was bleeding cash compounded by the global coronavirus pandemic that shut down the industry for almost five months. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.